This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. So did you apply for Super Eagle directly or you apply uh, through a third party? Well, sir, uh, I applied through a third party that had about, that had the where it was written about the Super Eagle, sir. Okay. But, All right. Cool. I mean, that's not that's not that's not something I would like to talk about. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Dark Call from Super Eagle. You guys know controversial company Super Eagle. But this time, they are reaching out to drivers to try to recruit them on to the company. They're looking for least purchase drivers that are interested in 88% of the load or you can come in as a company driver your choice controversial company super eagle located out of illinois they have shell companies plenty of them too many to count or too many to say this particular dark call from a new recruiter that just came on the scene within the last two weeks. You guys will enjoy this conversation that I have with this recruiter. Shout out to that recruiter for talking with us. If you guys want to know more and what happened in that call, stay tuned. Who are you? What, what's up? This is Della calling back from the Super Ego Tracking Company, sir. This is who calling back from where? It's Ella from Super Ego Tracking Company, sir. I already talked to somebody from Super Ego. What's what, what you got to offer? The same thing? Well, sir, yeah, at least a purchase offer or maybe it could be a company driver. Hey, uh, what's going on? I'm getting like major calls from you guys like you you guys is hurting for drivers or something what's what's going on you're a recruiter yes okay you're yes, you're sir. outside recruiter or you recruit or or you actually work for super eagle and their affiliates i i i work for super eagle sir yes you work for super eagle and their affiliates right so i i just got a call from a from a guy maybe about a week week and a half ago uh so what the phone number just passes through the system i mean what's what's going on well, yeah sir well you're on our uh drivers drug truck drivers list so i there's was i found your number but you guys don't see that if we talk to somebody already no sir we don't okay so if we talk to somebody already, uh, what, it just goes back onto the list again and just get recycled and and one of you guys just make a cold call to that driver? Well, sir, we have an app where we have all the drivers and when it's some, when someone is interested, it gets transferred to, a, to our list. For example, my list, I have a few drivers and that's how we, that's how the app actually works. <laughs> But you guys calling again, you guys are still just offering the same spiel that we already was offered from the first recruiter, right? So what is, I mean, so what is the- Yes, sir. So in other words, not, not to say nothing is wrong with you or nothing like that, because you just admitted the fact that you don't see that we was called already right yes sir we don't have the same numbers everyone have a different number all the recruiters so i don't know who called you and who haven't you guys is making cold calls to a lot of drivers so what is going on what what is why is such a such of an influx of calling now like what's going on sir mom i mean our goal is to have to bring drivers to our company so that's that's why we are calling that's the goal of our calls. Yeah. Okay, so that's the goal. I get it. 
wouldn't that be also the goal to try to offset of what's going on with the controversy with the company? Could that be a goal as well? Well, I don't know what you mean, sir. What controversy of the company? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. You you just as just as good as I do of of the controversy that's going on with uh with with controversial company Super Eagle. Don't don't do that. See, <laughs> you just messing with me right now. Don't do that, man. Come on. Well, sir, yeah, I understand what you're saying. I mean, I'm here only for two weeks. So, I mean, I'm just getting to know about more about the company. And I, I mean, yes, no, non-company is perfect, but we are trying our best to do a good job, sir. Hey, I, I get it. That's cool that you guys try to save face of what's going on out there and Contrary to drivers' belief that controversial company Super Eagle is trying to make trying to make face, I get it. And you said you only been there for two weeks, so I mean, where did you actually come from? Like, did was you was you brought in from another continent, or you just felt out an application and say, "Hey, I want to be a recruiter for a Super Eagle." Well, I filled out an application sir, for this job. So yeah. Okay. So let me ask you this. Did did you did your research on the company before you filled out the application? Yes, sir. I mean I wouldn't come somewhere where I don't think it's a good place to do or work. So uh, what was what was your research? Like what what did you do to research Super Eagle? Like did you go online? Did you YouTube Super Ego? Did you put Super Ego in the Google search? Did you uh, go to any other other groups, a uh, number of groups that's talking about Super Ego? Where where did you go uh, to do your research for Super Ego to actually say, "Hey, Super Ego is a good company for me." What where, where where did you go? <laughs> Well, uh, that that is a lot of questions for me right now. I mean, I did my research by the place where I applied for, from the place where I applied for, from I got a recommendation from my friends. Uh, if you want to talk about trucks and about lease to purchase offer, I can do that. But if you're not interested, that's also fine. I well, have no, other I'm, things no, no, to do, no, no, no. So. I'm just, I'm just curious because you just said yourself that you just started with them two weeks ago, right? And I mean, for me as a for me as a driver, I do my research. I I did all my research. I I checked out the reviews. I checked out the safer score. I I checked out other drivers' commentaries. I I went on Google. I I did everything. So so you what you're telling me? You you just came there two weeks ago. And you basically saying you did your research as well, that I would do the same thing, right? I mean, I, I would do my research about the company, right? So I was just curious to, I, I was just curious to, where did you research? Who did you research with to come up with your decision to uh, recruit for Super Eagle? Because you're on here trying to recruit me to come to Super Eagle, but I'm I'm just curious as to who did you go through as far because you said the company that or the place where you put in an application did you again like I said did you see they say for score did you see their uh, reviews or anything like that and you over here saying friends what I mean what friends are that I mean wh who what friends are those that recommended super eagle to you well sir well sir well the sir if the company was that bad we wouldn't have over five thousand drivers in our company of course there are some drivers that aren't satisfied and that they didn't like the company and that's quite all right i mean not everything is for anyone and of course as i told you not any any there is not a company that is perfect so 
as I told you, I got a recommendations from my friends. I did some research for the place where I applied, and that's it. As I told you, again, I don't want to be rude. But if you want to talk about the trucks, we can do that. But if you're not too interested and you're not into lease to purchase, I'm going to need to end this call because I have some other drivers to call and have some other things to do. I'm at my workplace, so I have to work. I, I, hey, I, I, I appreciate your honesty. I, I just have one more question before you go. Uh, you said you did your research at the place where you applied. So did you apply for Super Eagle directly or you apply uh, through a third party? Well, Sir, uh, I applied through a third party that had a book that had the where it was written about the super ego, sir. Okay, but All right. I cool. mean that's not that's not that's not something I would like to talk about. Hey, I, mean, I, I get job. you, I get you, but I I do appreciate the call. Thank you very much. Um, and yeah, thank you, and much success to you on um, on uh, recruiting. So thank you very much for the call, though. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank uh, you for good wishes. Have a bad day. You too now. There you have it. Once again, Super Eagle reached out to me. I don't know what's going on, though, for real, for real. I, I honestly don't know what's going on, but yes, I do. I, I do know what's going on. They're they're trying to save face. They're trying, they're, they're running, they must be running low on drivers. Because a lot of you guys is now realizing the controversy that's going on with Super Eagle. Some of you are winning over there while some of you are getting taken advantage of while some of you just not getting it and for the ones that are coming in there being wrenched out I, I, i'm just going to assume that they're running low on drivers because this is the most dark cause that i have seen super ego is doing like I talk to drivers, I'm, I'm in the Facebook group and I see the drivers are getting dark texts, dark calls, dark messages, dark emails from Super Eagle trying to recruit them to drive for one of their number of affiliates. Even the people that already drove for Super Eagle and left because of reasons these same recruiters are re-reaching them out. Is that a word? I'm not sure, but I want to use it. They're coming back at them. Hey, we know that you drove for Super Ego. Uh, we know that you quit Super Ego for reasons. Maybe if I can offer you this offer right here, maybe we can save face. And basically, that's what they're doing. They're trying to save face face and again drivers as i tell you you do your research you do your due diligence and majority of you are seeing that driving for a super ego could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing i'm just saying i'm just looking at it this way i, I it, it could be a good thing for owner operators like for owner operators, they, they look like they're winning over there because owner operators can operate their trucks the way they want to operate. So basically, if they feel that Super Ego is treating them some kind of way, they still got their opportunities to get loads from elsewhere. They don't have to necessarily get loads from Super Ego. Like Super Ego is not their bread and butter. If, if I may say, okay? Super Ego is not their bread and butter. So if Super Ego calls them up and say, hey, we got a dollar a mile going down to, uh, what do you call it, uh, Florida, that owner operator is gonna be like, nah, bro, we ain't, we ain't taking that. Let me go ahead and call up TQC or TQA and see if they got the same load that's going down to Florida 
but maybe for a dollar, dollar or two, two dollars or three dollars a mile more. See, owner operators, that's veterans. Let me let me let me pair, uh, preference that veterans that knows how to operate their trucks, that knows what they need to make a profit. Okay, let me just let me just preference that those owner operators, those are the ones quite as the kept is winning. Those are the ones that's not coming on to my platform and and sharing their stories. Now I want them to. Yes, it is open to them, but a lot of them is not going to turn around and 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 give up their secret sauce to how they're running with Super Eagle. Maybe a handful, maybe a few. But just like they watch my my podcast, they already see that the people that's coming on here either they're not winning or whatever the situation. And they have their own opinions. They let them know in the comments. Definitely let them know in the comments. But I don't know. For company drivers over at Super Ego, uh, it must be something going on. Something is definitely going on over there for them to make this many dark calls to drivers to get uh, drivers interested in Super Eagle. Okay. So drivers, again, if you're interested in Super Eagle, definitely research Super Eagle. All you got to do is either hashtag Super Eagle in the, in the YouTube search bar or just type in Super Ego Reviews on Google and do your due diligence. Again, you're a grown person. You're a grown man. You're going you, you to try them out on your own. You, you don't need me or anybody else to say, hey, Super Ego is not a good company to go to. I mean, if you have some situations that you can't get into a legitimate trucking company because of your background whether it's uh whether it's dot related or background related super ego just might work for you as my man anonymous says super ego is not for everybody and it's proven it has been proven time and time again over and over again that super eagle is not for everybody now do you want to go over there and give super eagle a try that's on you regardless of what you have heard regardless of what you have seen regardless if you haven't did your due diligence haven't did your research you think going into super eagle trying to get rich quick with them then go ahead and afterwards come back over here to this channel the lockout man podcast slash recruiter call channel and definitely share your story because i would love to hear it. all right so that's it everybody that's it super eagle dark call number two now <laughs> this young lady interesting call man interesting call so if you guys drove or driven or had any issues with controversial company super eagle let us know in the comments below all right drivers get your suggestions in now for the next mtc review call you can do that by hitting me up in the gmail that's lockout man podcast guest at gmail.com or you can always leave it in the comments below or you can support the calls with the cash app that's dollar sign lockout men let me know in the notes who would you like to have on for a review and we will give you a shout out until next time everybody who's next next next